All right, and we're back, folks. And I think it is about ready. So um, we are going to do the 3.8 patch <clears throat> full setup for um, uh, Valve Index VR Star Citizen gameplay. So after having installed your Vorpex VR controller and having it started and ran in the background, what you're going to want to do is basically launch the game with all the stock settings as said before, and it should just pop up and hook into the next EXE that runs. So Vorpex is going to do most of the work here. Oh yeah, and so we're going to be doing full controller setup. We'll just go through that in a bit. Alright, launching the game. And there we go, hooking into Star Citizen. Um, uh, we are basically going to do complete, full default setups. And messing with everything is such, we're going to want to have our... If you're doing full setup like I do, with the uh, wheel, pedals, and the HOTAS, as well as the FPS stuff, then the easiest way to set everything up is to start with uh, unplugging the wheel boom okay cool so having the wheel unplugged and just having the joystick plugged in and doing the joystick setup first so having said that we're going to go to controls key bindings we're going to go to advanced customization setup control profiles and then reset to defaults keyboard mouse joystick load all right cool and then we're going to quit make sure that our setup is saved all right Boom, touch controllers up there. Loading Star Citizen. Boom, all right, so, Vorpex turned on, default controller settings, default resolution settings. Oh my God, it looks so crisp. No more screen door effect. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So, uh, to get things working the best, I have just default 2650 by 1440, because that's my monitor. Uh, I have my full screen, very high, full field of view, no motion blur, turn off the sync, turn off the sharpening and, and the aberration, and I thought I'd turn that off, film grain, no. Okay, so, uh, and then controls, we have everything at complete defaults, and we'll just double check that and go to customization, reset the defaults, keyboard, mouse, joystick load all right so we'll go ahead and hop into the universe we'll create a dude really quickly all right and loading in so uh, this is gonna be a full tutorial so if we're gonna start with the FPS stuff then let's start with the FPS stuff and since this is a valve index controller let's see if anything has changed and it looks like it's mostly the same so that's map shift button so grip is going to be um uh, your boom all right yeah uh looks like it's going to be the exact same as last time folks uh, just WASD on the left, and then you can rotate and then look around on the right. So basically you want to get it set up to where it's nice and even. And then, yeah, if you're if the view is like too scrunched in or too like far or out or whatever, um, uh, there's two th different modes that you need to wor be worried about when you're using Vorpex. Is when you hit the middle mouse button, for which is with the Valve Index, the grip. Boom, it will 
put it in theater mode, uh, call, or edge peak mode, and that lets you see the edges of your screen, which is good for looking at your comms, your vitals, uh, your crime stat and stuff in the other corners. It basically lets you hit the peak your edges, hit your corners. Uh, so just turn that off and on to, you know, mess with stuff menu-wise in Star Citizen. Um, so we can look around with our head. And then hit F. And click. Boom. Alright. Yeah. Things look a little bit odd, but... Just gotta get used to moving. All right, so we can now walk around in VR and whatnot. Um, be wary of any objects that you might have near yourself. Put them away and out of the into the corner if you need to. Um, so we're gonna spawn a ship and we're gonna get into it. But handling the FPS side of controls is pretty simple. Uh, you just walk around like this. Um, uh, we'll go over aiming in a later in a actual shooting and aiming in a later video but for now it's just ship controls and walking around and getting in and out of ships so hold down F which is on your left hand top button and click if you can't see the edges of your menu just edge peek and then boom like that we're gonna just spawn our cutlass black your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Then we don't need the menus anymore, B02. You can turn it in. Alrighty. So B02, uh, 5 through 8, 0 through 4. Uh, be sure to turn yourself and try to keep yourself centered, that way you're not tangling over your cord. So be really using your right hand to rotate just makes your life a little bit easier and then when you need to you can actually you know rotate fully left and right um, so let's go out here and as you can see everything just kind of works pretty nicely not too difficult once you uh, if you've ever played with an Xbox controller you just got to split it in half and uh, remember that they're at your fingertips and it's nice because I can actually let go of these and they'll just kind of sit there and they won't fall. So, let's go up here and get in our ship. Alright. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so now we get into our ship. This is where all the fun stuff begins. Pull out your cockpit. I don't care where you keep it or what you do with it. Just get it ready. Okay, so immediately upon entering the seat, the first thing you'll notice is that when you move your head around, it basically is stuck. Uh, to turn on head track, to toggle head tracking, you hit the Z key on your keyboard. And then bing, bang, boom, hamburger time. You can move your head all around and it tracks. All right, so first thing we need to do is set up defaults. Uh, if you have the X52 Pro, then just, you know, follow as is, but do whatever you gotta do to, for whatever control that you have, and then go basically set up whatever you have. I have the X52 Pro. Joystick, joystick. Load. Okay, middle mouse button to get back in. Okay, so. Then do whatever you do normally. Hit the power button. Alright, going good so far. I'm going to lift off. I'm going to strafe away from the port to the left here. And just kind of sit out away from the dots. Make sure we're out of everybody's way, but just kind of making sure we can stay in a defensive position. All right, so gliding gear works as normal. So let's try to move our stick left or right. Oh dear, what is this? 
Oh no, my, my joystick is moving my head and I'm not doing it. So whenever you have just a mouse and a joystick, uh, you could swap into toggle mode and that way you move the fucking joystick and it will move your head around. But we don't want that because we already had of our head aim set. So we need to just turn off all the view stuff for our joystick. So a lot of the setup for VR is unbinding a lot of normal stuff. Uh, advanced customizations and we're going to go over to joystick hotos in the bottom right and then we're going to go to oh no wait oops key bindings advanced and then joystick hotos so we're going to look for flight view uh, look left and right on the x-axis gonna unbind look left up and down on the y-axis unbind boom okay so now whenever we move our ship, it will move our ship. Perfect, so that was one of the biggest issues that was probably preventing you from actually getting it to work completely, right? Uh, now your joystick works as normal, uh, but you also have your thumb, your POV hat. Um, uh, it is bound to look options and stuff, and uh, that's kind of pointless now that we have a head. Usually like to have the POV or the mouse hat so that you could use an alternate look around, but we got our head to look around. We don't need it. So again, go to advanced customization, joystick, hotos, then we go to flight view again, and all these POV hat stuff, left, right, hat one, hat one, hat one. Hat one, all that get off. All right, boom. Uh, dynamic zoom in and out x-axis rotation we don't want that either okay boom and then middle mouse button and then we now have four extra buttons on our on our uh, POV hat that we can bind later uh, after that our thrusters are go but we notice that we now have our F4 thrusters in vertical mode. So we need a button to bind. Uh, I believe that that's J. Yes, J does that. So once we hook up the wheel, we're going to hook up a bunch of extra buttons that will take care of that stuff. Um, after that, let's see here. I believe that was the big ones. Oh yeah, okay. So make sure that the targeting and stuff works so that's that yep yep um, so let's go and then hit R boom you got your actual oh yeah okay these are a couple of things that I remember um, get everything the way that you want it but I do a whole bunch of little uh, tweaking here and there that just makes a lot better on the X52 Pro so advanced customization control profiles I want this top button to be the um, toggling of the clutch mode or what is it called when you're flying through the air, uh, decoupled mode. So I want decoupled mode here. I want this button to be boost and I want this button to be break. Right now there's a bunch of flopping uh, throttles and stuff like that that I don't want bound. So that is going backwards. So hit that button again and now make sure we're going forwards. Okay, yes, that is going forwards. Alright. We'll bind that other button, throttle reverse, somewhere else. Okay, so just cleaning up issues. We're going to go to light. Uh, cockpit. No, no, no. Flight view, we're good there. Flight movement, pitch up, pitch down. Yeah, 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 that's all good. Roll is good. Swap roll toggle. We could put that somewhere. Uh, space break. All right, boom. Rebinding button seven. Uh, 
a straight forward, straight back invert. So we're gonna swap that with button seven. Straight forward, straight backward invert. We're going to take off. Uh, now we want to set our afterburner as that button, button 31, decoupled mode, yes. And then we want decoupled mode to be this top button. That is the brake, and we've already rebound that. Space brake is button 7, and then we want the actual brake to be 7 as well. Where is brake? Space brake button 7. Decoupled mode. Afterburner. Hmm, hmm. Flight targeting. Oh, it might be, be it might be ground vehicle. Yeah, brake. Okay, cool. That's why. All right, cool. So now we have top button is decoupled throttle, the bottom button is boost, and the middle button is brake. That's just a nice little issue, nice little side side things that I like to do for cleaning up the uh, X-52 bindings. Uh, next bits, uh, we're going to do ground vehicle stuff. So we're going to get over to Hurston, no, uh, not Hurston, but Lor, no, not Lorville, is it Lorville? The quickest place to get a land vehicle is going to be... What you call it? Delamar. No, we need actual... By the way, the view is fantastic, oh my lord. I just now realizing that I could read my map. And the resolution is so crisp and clear, no more screen door effect. All right, so let's go to Delamar. Hello there. So whenever you go in and out, you have to hit the Z button again to toggle the look, free look. All right, so we're gonna go spawn a ground vehicle and we're gonna go set up our ground controls. We're also going to test out our vehicle login logout system. Okay, so a couple more just um, uh, little house cleaning issues now that we got a bunch of extra buttons on our HOTAS. What I like to do is key bindings, HOTAS, advanced customization. And we go to flight. Uh, let's see here. Targeting. Get rid of the left, up, down, and right hats stuff because we don't need it. Select a target hold. Okay. So, select target under reticle. We're going to bind to our bottom button. Button 6, interaction mode. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Then we're going to... Let's see here. Cycle... Target nearest hostile. Down button, button 22, that's already there. Let's see here, scanning mode, scanning. Uh, let's see here, cycle. All 
all targets on the right. Get rid of that match velocity we don't need. Flight cockpit, no, flight movement. Huh, flight target. I guess it's flight combat. Huh, movement. Alright, either way, target nearest, uh, or cycle, cycle friendlies, and then cycle, all targets on button 21. Tunisia. Nearest hostile. Brand new album, Memory of a Dream, that'll be released tomorrow. So tell me, if you could describe your album in five words, Cycle how would hostile. you describe it? I would say a selection of diverse trends. All right, cool. Because we have infused various elements within trance music. The album is quite a reflection of our production moves, ranging from progressive, vocal, breakbeat, uplifting. Uh, it's we'll okay. actually have Cycle sub target on 20. Really great. Thanks for dropping by, guys. Thank you, Armin. See you this Monday. All right, cool. Target hailing, mining, turrets. Okay, so here's some other stuff. So, fire group weapon one, button one. Yes. Uh, fire but weapon two, button 15. That's going to be your secondary pull tr trigger pull. Uh, next is acquire missile lock is going to be... Boom, button three, cycle countermeasures. That launch missile is button two. Perfect. Flight weapons. Flight defensive. Cycle and launch. Now we readjust our hat to our shield. Reset levels back to button five. Radar, flight HUD, radar, power, lights, headlights, toggle. Okay, ground vehicle, cycle camera, fire weapon, oh, nope. Weapon two is going to be that. Okay, ground vehicle movement. Turn off that, we'll get to those later. Ground vehicle gunner, okay, electronic access, social response, social invites, emotes, VoIP, VoIP head tracking, interaction all, uh, focus, activate inner thought. We don't want any of these buttons messing with decreased throw power. 
Boom. Alright, cool. Server renderer dev only. Interesting. Advanced camera controls. Okay, we're good. And I think we have everything set for now. And we're going to save control settings as 3 point 3 point 3 point uh, 3 slash 3 x 8 we are citizen no pedals all right so that should be everything that we need and here we are perfect sorry it took so long but Oh yeah, okay, so also some other things is that you'll notice that your mouse moves. Your mouse uh, moves your ship. So what we're gonna do to get rid of that issue is you go to key binding, since we're already on mouse and keyboard, go to just advanced customization. And we're going to turn off flight vehicle movement. Uh, let's see here. Keyboard mouse. Oh, that's ground vehicle. Doop. Uh, flight movement. Pitch Y axis. Get rid of. X axis. Get rid of. Boom. Now your mouse will only just move your head. Oh, before we warp to Levski. All right, so we've got basically all of our HOTAS controls and all the little tiny, uh, you know, little little tiny things that we got worked out. Oh, damn it. So now we're going to hook up the wheel, and then we're going to add all the other little tiny controls and get the pedals hooked up for ground vehicles, as well as strafing forward and backwards on our um, uh, ship vehicle. Can I not log out in this? Get up, get up, get up. Oh, why is... Okay, it's all the way over there in the corner. All right, log out. Perfect. Oh, now you want to... Turn on your wheel. And then relaunch the game. So loading back in. We'll see if the bed logout trick worked. In which case, we're going to be playing this game a lot more often. planet in front of me last I checked, but that's fine. Power. Z. Okay, we can look around. We're pretty close to the sun. Where are we?
At least I'm on the right side of it. All right, so these are some of the housekeeping issues that now that we got our wheel hooked up that we're just going to do real quick. Uh, hit escape. And what we want, key bindings, joystick hotas, advanced customization. So we want our toggle head tracking, which is flight, I believe. View cockpit, eject. No, no, no. Uh, flight. View. Here we go. Toggle free look. Boom. Okay, so we're going to put it on the top left button on the steering wheel so we can just quickly hit that when we're in and out of menus. Uh, second one is going to be weaponry. Uh, weapon cycle gimbal assist lock modes. That's going to be our second button down. Boom. Uh, next, what we're going to want to do is for flight movement, we're going to do our strafe. How did I do this? Strafe up, down, strafe left, right, strafe. Throttle back, throttle forward, strafe forward, backward, invert. Ah, here we go. Throttle forward back. Put it on the slider right there. Perfect. Okay, so now for your uh, pedals to get show up as a slider, if you're using like a G27 Logitech or something like that, you need to go into Windows and then go into the actual settings of the game controllers and then tell it to set up to view it as two pedal modes, uh, not three pedals with the clutch. If you do two pedal modes, then it will set up for like old school games and then it'll treat it, uh, both brake and the uh, both the brake and the uh, throttle pedal as a single input and it'll put it on a slider. So that way when none of them are pushed, it is at zero and when one is pushed, it is like plus 50 and then when the other one is pushed, it is minus 50. So uh, that's basically how you set up the throttle forward and back and then keep your throttle forward on your pedal access. On top of that, we're going to want to go to ground vehicle movement, drive forward, drive backwards, same thing, slider one, keep that, and then drive forward, uh, then we want turn left and right on the X axis, boom, and then brake. I don't even think that clutch works. Yeah, no, it won't. All right, cool. So, and then one last thing is flight movement. We want quantum. So, it's quantum system toggle on the wheel left shift and then actual quantum drive on the right shift. Boom. Easy peasy. And then toggle VTOL, I put on the bottom left button. So that's going to be uh, toggle free look, and then toggle your weapon sights. Oop. And then toggle VTOL is going to be on the third one down. All right. And that's just a bunch of extra little housekeeping issues. So you notice already I can't do that, but now I just hit that button on the wheel. And we're good to go. Uh, so we need to find our target here. And then boom, we can shift and then shift up and shift down. Welcome to our number two of this week's Estate of Trons. What do you think of the tunes that I'm playing? And then that will let us jump. And I'm also following all the all right, we'll be there shortly. One minute, folks, and then we'll get back to basically driving and hopping. We're going to basically just hop in a vehicle and then drive it around with our pedals and our 
wheel and that'll basically conclude the tutorial setup. We'll be having a on foot FPS shooting and moving tutorial once I get used to the aiming with the new controllers. Uh, so that's all about what you got to do. Thank you guys for enjoying and watching what I do and supporting me. Um, uh, I'm going to hope to be around a lot more. I'm probably going to have to redo this whole bit because freaking Armin's talking in the background. <laughs> okay, so you guys might not have ever noticed this, but I certainly am. I'm finally able to read all of the text on my MFDs and none of it is like fuzzy or screen dooring. I love my Oculus Rift, don't get me wrong, but I could not wait for this upgrade in resolution. And that's not even the best part. I think the touch controllers that come with the Index are worth the price of admission. But playing from the Star Citizen with Vorpex point of view, holy crap, this 1440 per eye is so nice. I can only imagine what 4K per eye would look like. So yeah, that's just uh, side notes with the whole thing. Uh, the new Valve Index looks great with Vorpex and Star Citizen. Alright. And three, two, one, bing, bang, boom, Delamar. Come on, Delamar. There we are. Engine drive is now off. Funny little square patch right there. Whatever. All right, so I'm gonna grab a ground vehicle. Oh, cool down on our quantum. That's fine. on the left. Okay, so now that we have our pedals turned on and off, for our strafing we go use them for our landing mode. Okay, very good, very good. So, uh, menu, give me comms. Thank you. These are my pedals down below. And now we adjust our speed all the way down to like practically nothing. that 
our nose is the front of the ship, not the middle. Oh yeah, how about we landing gear down, landing gear down. and then landing complete. landing complete, boom, and turn Wait. off power. Done. Welcome Easy. Alright, cool. And so now we just hop back into FPS mode, landed, complete. Cockpit out of the way, centering our look, and then we just get up out of here. So, uh, you notice I don't have my gun rig mount, and uh, for obvious reasons it only holds the Oculus Rift controllers because that's the uh, cupped version I bought. And even if it could, uh, I don't know how they're going to mess with the uh, touch controllers for the... Um, uh, what do you call it? The index, because you need to be able to grip all the individual fingers for, you know, other games and stuff like that, as well as this ring that comes all the way across into the, from top to bottom, kind of be hard to slip in and out with a little cup. You need more like a round clip that goes on the backside, but we'll see what they got. And if they have something, I might be able to just convert my uh, gun mount into um, uh, HTC Vive mode or buy another one. It's only seventy dollars. There, all set. All right, garage four. run over to our ground vehicle we'll drive around a little bit and then we'll call it an end to the tutorial slip into our cockpit chair up down move the camera Power on. Land systems. System check. All right, and then let's go. And so now you could give it variable throttle on both. The only thing I want to do would be to adjust the access of the ground vehicles but yeah so that's basically it um, that's uh, how you set up everything oh geez okay cool alrighty well there you go folks uh, another successful tutorial we'll get back with the next one uh, for FPS aiming and uh, ground movement and shooting and stuff do some bunker clears with our new um, uh, What do you call it index controllers? So uh, we'll see how that all goes next time uh, Until then stay safe fly right Thank you for tuning in and subscribing by the way, and I appreciate all the help that you give uh, Channels starting to grow and I appreciate every one of you for sticking around and coming back every time too We'll see you next time Okay.